The personal a goes before the direct object in phrases where the direct object is a person or is thought of as having personal qualities. The preposition a often means to, but when it's used as a personal a, it has no direct translation. We learned that the personal a goes before the direct object, but what is the direct object? The subject is the action taker in the phrase, and the object is the action receiver. In the phrase, el hombre compró la computadora, the man bought the computer, el hombre is the subject, the action taker, la computadora is the direct object, since it directly receives the action, the computer is being bought. However, the computer is an inanimate object and not a person, so we don't use the personal a. We do use a personal a in the phrase Conoces a mi hermano? Do you know my brother? Mi hermano is the direct object in this phrase since my brother receives the action of being known and unlike the direct object of the last phrase mi hermano refers to a person and we use a personal a oigo a juana en el pasillo i hear juana in the corridor juana receives the action of being heard she is the direct object oigo a juana en el pasillo if the direct object is a pronoun that replaces a person, like alguien, nadie, or quien, we also use the personal a. For example, voy a invitar a alguien. I'm going to invite someone. No invitaron a nadie. They didn't invite anyone. A quien llamaste anoche. Who did you call last night? We also use the personal a with animals or things that are thought of as having personal qualities, most notably pets. For example, extraño a chico, I miss chico. And again, chico receives the action of being missed, so he's the direct object. When we're talking about animals that are not thought of as having personal qualities, we don't use the personal a. Veo una ardilla en el árbol. I see a squirrel in the tree. We also don't use the personal a after the verbs tener or haber. For example, tiene siete primos. She has seven cousins. Tiene is a conjugation of tener, so we don't use the personal a. Hay una persona en la iglesia. There's a person in the church. And hay is a form of haber, so we don't use the personal a here either. We don't use the personal a when referring to unspecific, unidentifiable people. Compare the following phrases. Necesito un abogado. I need a lawyer. Doesn't refer to a specific person. Conozco a un abogado. I know a lawyer. Does refer to a specific person. Summary. The personal a has no direct translation in English. It goes before the direct object in phrases where the direct object is a person or is thought of as having personal qualities.